your events and your projects, which I think we have to consider media at this point because they do both contain media. You can keep them in the quarantine folders like I liked uh, to keep them. You can keep them on uh, disk images, all right? And uh, all of these places will allow you to manage things a little bit differently uh, than you might uh, normally. So uh, again, anything I throw from this quarantine folder for events or for projects, once I throw it back in the original projects folder, uh, I just have to swap things in and out of the folder because if it's not called Final Cut Projects or Final Cut Events, then it is not going to uh, be recognized, all right? Uh, let me just make sure there's one other thing I mention. I don't think I'm going to be able to demonstrate this uh, right now. But uh, in, the, in the area of audio, which is pretty limited in Final Cut 10, I have to admit, uh, I think I can show you at least one really awesome thing. I have a bunch of interviews. All right, I'm going to look at them. Because of the screen resolution, I can't make this any bigger, unfortunately. Uh, but you can see um, audio levels here are color-coded. If things are too loud, then they actually get into this yellow area. Feel free to allow me to select something. Let me just re-establish my connection here. Really. Maybe it's just not drawing as connected. Uh, if I go over here, it looks like I did select something. See how I have volume and pan, and I can click you know, negative six. It's gonna adjust that uh, waveform if it was redrawing. You can select multiple items in your browser now and apply bulk adjustments like audio gain. Uh, there are analysis options and stuff. So this is something I always wanted to do in Final Cut 7. Take a whole bunch of music files that come in too hot and just adjust them before I start listening and blowing out my ears. Uh, so this is a really, really great feature. And then if you get in the timeline and you have something that's a little too fast or too slow, disappearing, reappearing ink. There we go. Command R allows me to turn on like retiming, and then I can just, you know, compress or stretch out this audio uh, and have it pitch shift just like you do with the audio stretching tool in Soundtrack Pro. Uh, and, uh, you know, this stuff can, can be with video or without video. Uh, and I'm just, uh, I apologize for the technical limitations that are not allowing me to do this. Uh, if I do this again, I'll, I'll plug the monitor into the mini, maybe. Um, so do we have any time for any questions?